Hi, this is Mark Terracone from Northeast Electrical Distributors. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to network your VMware guest desktop over to your host machine uh, using VM Workstation Pro and uh, running on a single computer. I have my host computer as well as my VMware Workstation system. And in the VMware Workstation, I have our Northeast Automation Desktop running. And what's, what's helpful is when using VMware and I have a guest, I want to install activations, but I don't necessarily want to install the activations on the guest machine. I'd like to have multiple guests sharing the same set of activations on my host. So the way I can do that is by using setting up my VM virtual machine to have uh, to use a NAT configured network adapter, and you go to v, the virtual network editor and you add a network. By default, VM Net 8 is set up for NAT, and in my case, the default address given is 192.168.249.0. So any network on my host can be accessed and all the applications within my guest will be given a 192.168.249 address on that network. Long story short is it allows me to bridge to the wireless and bridge to the LAN networks uh, from my guests very, uh, very easily. So by doing that, when I add that network adapter on my guest machine, I will have a VM network, VM Net 8 added to my host, I'm sorry, on my host machine, this network adapter VM Net 8 will be added. And you can go look at that. The address given when it gets configured by VMware, it should automatically be given that 192.168.249.1. That's the gateway address. Um, that's used to, to uh, route all the IP addresses over to the client. So, having done that, once that is configured, I am then able to open my Factory Talk activation server. And if you notice now under Manage Activations, the default is my local C hard drive where the activations are. I want to update this activation path and add a server and I want to use the IP address of you guessed it the 249.1 uh, address that my host has been get, has set up and I'm going to move this up to the top hit save and you'll notice now when I hit refresh activations it finds the keys that are running on my host so it's that it's that simple and now I can start and use my Rockwell software with my activations from my host system. One other last detail is in the VM settings and there's a few different ways to get to this screen but your network adapter um, has to be also select NAT. It will show bridged host and some custom configurations but make sure that this is also configured to use the NAT VM net um, virtual machine network so that's it um, hope uh, hope that's helpful the only other detail I'll mention to you is make sure you have your Windows firewalls configured uh, one quick test from your VMware um, guests is you should be able to ping your host uh, 168.249.1 address. If you cannot ping, then it's an indication that either your guest firewall or your host firewall or the network between the two is not configured properly. So um, that's a simple test that needs to happen before uh, you can share the networks. And then, like I said before, the nice thing about this is now I can open up my internet and uh, open up my browser and access the Wi-Fi or the NIC LAN ports, LAN networks that are connected to my host machine. 
Um, that's it. I hope you had a uh, hope you find this useful. Have a great day. We'll see you.